Hi, I'm Georgia and this is my fiancé George and we're travellers from the UK. At the start of May 2023, we quit our jobs, packed up our things and got on a flight to Singapore to start our travels around Southeast Asia. A week ago, we were in Banyuwangi on the Indonesian island of Java. Here we climbed Mount Ujin to see the sunrise and found the most secluded waterfall that we had all to ourselves. From there, we boarded a train to Surabaya where we had a few days exploring the city before we jumped back on a train to go and see one of Indonesia's cultural centres, Yogyakarta. That answers the question of how do you get across the platforms if there's a train in the way? You walk through the train. So we arrived at about two o'clock this afternoon and then we spent the next few hours just wandering around, exploring the city. We found it has so much culture, we really enjoyed it. A lot of like, music, a lot of street food, people here are so so friendly. Although they do keep trying to get us to go to an art exhibition, which I'm not 100 percent sure is an actual exhibition. After only a few hours it's really made a great impression on us. This morning we're heading to Borobudur, which is the world's largest Buddhist temple and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's about an hour away in a taxi and we've gotten up fairly early to try and avoid the crowds because we think around midday it'll probably get quite busy. It's fairly expensive to get in but we think that there's only a handful of World Heritage Sites in Indonesia so if we're in the area we might as well go and check it out because we probably won't have a chance to go again. Going to the top of the rubber door, so we have to wear these special sandals so that there's no damage or to like limit the tourist damage. guide is so funny. I just love her so much. Yeah, and don't forget, don't fall off you are just one step closer to the hell. Yeah, if you just go near, don't fall. This is the man who lives in French town. <coughs> While smoking his weed, he sang, no woman no cry. <laughs> <laughs> That was really incredible. Yeah, it was definitely worth paying the extra to go up it. It's quite a lot of money, but then we were reading that quite a lot of like restoration and stuff goes into it to make sure that it's not falling down because it's not made out of stone that's designed to last. It's made out of stone that erodes really easily. So 
quite a lot of effort goes into keeping it the way that it is. But it's really incredible, like the views at the top are so amazing. The entrance to the park was the most expensive part. The tour to actually go onto the structure and then have a little tour was only 80k each, which isn't too bad that by the time you've paid to enter the park and everything, you might as well just add that on. Today we're going to go and visit another UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is Prambanam Temple, which is about a 40 minute drive away from the city. We got tickets for this included with our Borobudur tickets yesterday, but where Borobudur was a Buddhist temple, Prambanam is a Hindu temple and it's also the largest Hindu temple in Indonesia. We also read that within the grounds of Prambanam are like three other Buddhist temples that we're going to go and visit as well. But before that, we're going to go and have a coffee which Jogjakarta is famous for and is served with a piece of hot charcoal in it. So Prambanan is much more relaxed in that you don't have to wear the special sandals to wander around. You can just wander around on your own, you don't need a tour guide to go up at all. There are so many more people here compared to Borobudur and they're literally all local people or Indonesian people. We're like the only white people here <laughs> and everyone is staring and asking for photos. <laughs> We're going on to the next temple now. The nice thing about Prambanan is it's quite large grounds and quite a few temples in them. So you can spend much more of a day here than you can at Borobudur. We've got to Lumbung Temple, which is about five minute walk or so from Prambanan. But this is a Buddhist temple apparently. This isn't a Hindu temple. There is literally nobody else here. peaceful in the grounds just wandering around and there's just nobody here like it's kind of nice but it's also a shame that it's so empty um but yeah it might just be that a lot of people are at prayer we're not sure we're heading to the third and final buddhist temple which is siwu temple i think that's how it's pronounced and all three of the buddhist temples by pramanan are all part of the same complex apparently and they were all built around the same time as Prambanam, which was about the 9th century or something. The Uru Temple is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I think of all the temples we've been to in the last few days, that's definitely my favourite one. 
Like it's not in amazing condition, but the fact that there's absolutely no one there and it is really ornate. It's so much like Borobudur, but on a smaller scale. Yeah. It's a shame though that we couldn't really wander around and get to know the history behind the carvings on the panels like we did at Borobudur. Yeah. I think at Borobudur we were so, we were on a time limit because you can only go up with the guide. So we didn't really get a chance to appreciate it as much as that we could have if we were able to just wander around alone. But 100%, if you're going to come to Pramanan, make the effort to come to the other temples because you won't regret it at yeah. all. Yeah, and it doesn't take long to walk either. Looks like the temple from Jungle Book. Sorry, just bear with the noise, it's prayer time. Going on. It's very vibrant. Really has a lot of song. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Your reaction did not fill me with hope. It's good. <laughs> it's just weird.